she thick. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Kat and welcome to my 2019 journal flip through. The video is finally here. Thank you for waiting a whole year if you've been waiting a whole year or hello, welcome. If this is your first video of mine, you're watching. Hello. So today my camera is broken. So this is all being filmed on my iPhone. So I hope you don't mind because the audio quality might not be the best. But anyways, um, today here is my journal flip through this journal. What is this? I don't really know. It is not a bullet journal. It is not uh, what else is there? <laughs> it's not a bullet journal for one. My first ever journal flip through, I made the very terrible mistake of being like, I don't know what it is. Give me suggestions. And I will never stop getting comments saying that it's a bullet journal. And I'm here to tell you that it is not. It's not a bullet journal. I have filmed prior journal flip throughs for two years. This is my third year of doing this type of journal. I have filmed my journal flip throughs for the past two years. If you want to see them, I don't really know. You, you can go watch them. I... I'll have them linked, but like, just understand that I was a different person then. I like, I've grown. And what I like about filming my journal flip throughs is that you can see my growth. So this year, um, it's going to be a little bit more censored than years in the past because what used to happen in years in the past, I used to be like, oh, I'm going to have to film this later on. So I don't want to put this thing in there. Um, and that really held me back for some aspects. So for this, I've covered up the pieces instead of having to blur them because that takes me a longer time to edit. And I'm gonna skip some pages if I don't wanna show them. So understand that, all right? This notebook is a little bit bigger than I'd wanted to do a journal in, but it's from Insights. It's a Wizarding World of Harry Potter Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them notebook uh, because every one of my previous journals were all Harry Potter related, not 2020 though, that I've changed things. But this is a sketchbook, I think, and it's got blank pages, but in between some of the pages, it was like Fantastic Beasts stuff. As I was trying to say earlier, this journal is not a bullet journal, it's just a journal. It's my, what I wanna do in it. It's basically anything that I wanna do, I put it in here. I will forewarn you, I do have a lot of K-pop related things in here, but it is not a K-pop journal, no, no, no. As I just said, it is whatever I want to put in here. So just just whatever tickles my fancy, put it in there. It's kind of like my art journal. It's kind of like a scrapbook, but not a scrapbook because scrapbooks are different than this. So it's a bunch of different things. So we'll see, let's open it, let's start. She's a thick girl, so um, it's gonna be a little bit hard to show, kind of, I don't know. So I'm gonna have to like, put something underneath. This, if you're wondering, I found an antique store, so I don't know where it is from, so sorry. So let us begin. This is like the page that comes with the notebook. I just wrote my name and the year. I do that every year. Uh, this first page is kind of like, who am I? Who she be about me? Um, this is the real, this is the me as of the beginning of 2019. So this spread, this I filmed a journal with me for it. It was, I think, the first journal with me of the year. I mean, obviously, but <laughs> you can find all of those videos. I have a whole playlist of all of my journaling in a playlist, and I'll have that link down below. Uh, so full moons of 2019, I always refer to this to like match this page. I did like Aquarius constellations, just a random page about Aquariuses because I am an Aquarius. So this is kind of like, it's not a New Year's resolutions page, but just kind of things that I want to do in the following months. I don't believe in New Year's resolutions. Like I don't personally do them because I believe if you want to do something enough, then you can start it whenever. But yes, so that's what this page is. A couple of things down here. These are, this is what it's going to look like when I cover something up. So yeah, this over here is do everything for you. This was a very important motto in the beginning of the year for me. And I feel like it lasted throughout the whole year. Just to, for me to remember to really do everything for me. Stop trying to be shady and like care about what other people are doing or thinking or looking at your social media or anything. So it was like, do everything for you, bro. <laughs> uh, winter goals. I did not finish this page. <laughs> so I did not achieve many goals in the winter apparently. Uh, but I was trying to be more sustainable and drink more water, bitch. Oh, also there's gonna be a lot of curse words in this journal. I don't curse very often on my channel just because my family watches my videos. Um, but you're gonna see it in my journal because it's my personal journal and I'm not gonna censor myself. You know what I'm saying? So this page, I was trying to be a little more conscious about not trying to like censor myself because like I knew I'd film this video eventually but I didn't want to be like oh like a drag to film it because I had all these things that I didn't want people to see so I was trying to figure out ways to like cover text but still make it look cute so this page is like a tissue paper and all the text is underneath it and I just taped it down because it kept flapping off because the these things on top are too heavy for the tissue paper 
next page um this <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, but this is my NCT page. I just wrote about NCT, my bias list. It is completely different now, and it's crazy to see from a year ago to now how different this list has changed. Of course, Taeyong is still on top. NCT, by the way, is my favorite K-pop group of all time. Yep. So this was a nice little page about them. Yes, this is a lot of glitters, I know. I had a vision. I saw the vision, but it didn't really come through that's okay but yeah my bias list is so different this is when i was still using my old printer so it looks the quality ooh, <laughs> not good at all <laughs> my birthday this was just a little page for my birthday my sister got me a really nice cake from this very good cafe in manhattan seaport called cafe potoro definitely recommend going there because the cake this cake so good oh my gosh anyways so she got me that for my birthday on the day we moved into our new apartment and oh my goodness here's my new apartment i was very excited it's my first ever apartment and yes as you'll see i love keeping my memories close to me so i really try and put everything down so i just took some pictures of the things in my room and put them in this page february title page oh yeah didn't i not do it yes um january i forgot to do my title page i do a title page like this every single month and so it's like a spread usually but only in december i did one page yeah for some reason i forgot to do it in january but here we have it these are some photos that i took this one i think was maybe not was this my first photo of the year i don't remember i just printed these out probably at school because the paper quality is better um most of the pictures that i print out i did on my school printers because i have printing points and i never use them so might as well for the journal sometimes i try to look for a quote so here's this one i have to leave heavy things behind so that i can carry useful things forward facts this is really the mood of the beginning of the year for me uh i don't even know what's underneath this but seeing as i covered it i'm gonna assume that it was private so i'm not gonna show it but it's just like it's a little covered yeah um this is a little sticker but i put it, it on top of like a hard piece of paper so that it would like weigh it down and keep it closed without having to like stick it together because then i would just rip the tissue paper um and i think this tissue paper is from like my birthday gifts didn't i use that just like i used it in here on my birthday page this tissue paper is from a birthday gift it's all about saving materials and reusing them forever probably still have this somewhere in my paper folders <laughs> this page was about stray kids because i love stray kids and i wanted to do a little page about them bias was jungin at the time but also felix and chan but i've been biased right so many times by stray kids so it's changed <laughs> the next page um a little drawing of a rose i don't really remember doing this but here it is and then just like a little kind of a diary entry about february 25th so we're gonna skip the page here because it's really ugly and i i don't want to look at it <laughs> it's like really bad and i didn't finish it because normally when i have an unsuccessful page i try to like really like work through it and figure out and try to make it work but the time i was like no i'm i can't i'm over it so here we are march title page use some brown paper very minimal who am i my first tattoo i got my first tattoo on march 1st so the beginning of the month and i was really really sick i had a fever and then i went and got a tattoo and i didn't even realize that i was going to get a tattoo i was just going to tag along with my sister and then i and here i am now with a tattoo Woo! so yeah i just did a little page about that that's where i got it um what is this this is like another kind of just journal entry so this page is about wavy stan wavy kids ot21 am i right but this was when i was just first trying to start doing k-pop pages but like making it work for me and not just depending on the pictures to make the page but also like trying to do art with it make it look nice and aesthetic um i was really trying to figure it out and still make it look aesthetic um and you know i grow and learn from this page so yep spring break to do's uh, let me tell you i did nothing of these i don't even know what i did on spring break so i didn't do any of these but i did learn how to embroider eventually this page i was just like i i've been doing things that are too minimal like i i want some more i need some some stuff i love a lot of stuff a lot of color a lot of texture and so i was missing doing that in this journal so far so i did this page with just a bunch of paint and stuff and it was a great time had a lot of fun but it kind of ruined pages a little bit because it's all 
painted yeah it's fine these next four pages i filmed um but this is with my friend alana who lives in boston or who goes to school in boston we're friends from belize we grew up together she came to visit me in the city i got nct tickets so that was very exciting and i was very nervous and wow so that's exciting uh, and then this was about Miro straight kids album it was really good i really loved it good stuff this page is about runaway by aurora aurora is one of my favorite um female music artists april title page so in the past every april i've always not journaled at all it's just been like a really crazy month but this month i feel like i did a lot of stuff and i'm really proud of myself so yay i guess the people that i was starting to follow on instagram and it being like springtime i was getting very affected by spring aesthetics which i normally don't i usually keep to my um normal dark aesthetic i would like to think but this month this year it really took me over and it took me a while to get back into my dark aesthetic like i used to do so here it was i was starting to just make it really light and there's nothing wrong with changing style of course and trying something new next page i don't know why <laughs> i don't know wh why i was doing this but i did two k-pop pages nestle spread about two different groups i guess i just wanted some ats and pentagon appreciation the next page this again with the like textured and paint that i love to do so here's another page of it and like the moon we must go through phases of emptiness to feel full again um there's just another like journal entry some songs that i listen to and like looking at this little playlist i wrote here gives me so much nostalgia to like winter spring of this year wow crazy here's another quote to be beautiful means to be yourself you do not need to be accepted by others you need to accept yourself so deep oh <laughs> this page i never finished it i like put i had plans i think it was supposed to be a billy eilish page but i never did it this page again is about aurora uh she had a song come out called the seed and this was like the face paint she had on not really but kind of um and just a couple of the lyrics here so this page this is a little like note to myself um just giving myself some encouragement you know self-love and some things that i can like go and watch or listen to if i want inspiration just like watching out for myself you know what i'm saying this page is about some of my plants um this was a bag that i got because i bought some soil from a plant store and it says plants make people happy and then i just put my plants names and what kind of plant they were wow beautiful i love this memory keeping this was an nct was in new york city and i went to see them they were here for like a while i did a whole video on it so if you want to watch the concert vlog but they had like a little photo thing where you can go and wait in the rain to take a picture with them and i did that because why not new experiences made new friends and they had like a bus schedule where you could see where the bus with their faces were this page is when i went to see them they were doing an interview somewhere and then when they came out wow beautiful visuals it's really something when you get your own um photos of them it's it's a wild time this page is of the actual concert and with emma and elena and yeah oh there's more <laughs> I didn't, I didn't even realize um some more of the concert stuff this i like wrote down a bunch of things that happened and i just kind of like made a little pocket behind it instead of having to like write it all out i really missed the ncp concert please come back april favorites page this is my april favorites i have a separate notebook that i keep all my april favorites in oh by the way this is not a catch-all book this is not that or like a commonplace book i think that's what people call it that is not this i am too much of a person that likes to separate things or else i'll never find them so i have a notebook for like my favorites i have a notebook for my youtube ideas and i don't know i don't know there's various notebooks so i keep all my favorites for every month in one separate notebook but i will do favorites pages um because i want to so <laughs> this page over here is another journal entry about how april went i guess obviously i covered it because privacy may i really like this um title page i really enjoy it i tried to do this thing where i write down something that happened every day for the whole month but then i don't know i just didn't want to do it at some point like sad things happen like on the fourth my grandma's dog died and yeah so um summer sh shits <laughs> things that i wanted to do in the summer so like rewatch attack on titan rewatch scam norway re watch scam italia try again at learning a language i did rewatch some of attack on titan but not the whole thing and then i did rewatch scam norway but i don't know if i did that in the summer or this past fall and i did not finish scam italia 
and I, but I did watch some other versions of it. Anyways, this page, I was trying out some paints that I got from a brand and I did a journal page for this and the quote I put on it, now more than ever, may you never forget how far you've come. So that's important to never forget. Uh, this page is, <laughs> I don't, I don't know why I wrote so much and like what I wrote about and I didn't want to read through the whole thing because I just, you know, it's for another time in the future to do that. But this was about NCT 127. Their Superhuman album came out and Highway to Heaven was a song that played it at the concert that just really stuck with me and my favorite nct song the korean version okay so i did a whole page about it i think i just talked about my feelings on the album so this page was may 11th it was just a day that i went and explored the city a little bit with my sister um i think it was right before mother's day so we were buying mother's day presents i think this was the stray kids concert i didn't do much to it but it's nice memory keeping May favorites. I really like this page and like I strive to do something like this again in the future. Um, but I really like it with all the different browns of paper and the, the glitters make it really feel nice and magical. But I did a journal with me video for this. So go check it out. Uh, and then on this page is May letters to so like a letter to May, I think, or like just being like, May, you, you didn't suck as bad. I don't really remember how May went, <laughs> but this I sealed with sealing wax. And normally I would put like a wax paper underneath so I could open it again, but this paper is hard so it would just like open all the time and flail about so I just kept it completely sealed. One day I'll open it, um, but I don't really care to right now. June! <laughs> this is a mess, I know. So June I did this page and then I didn't completely love it, like it just... I don't know i had a vision and the vision came true but the like paint texture was a bit too much i don't know i think it's a cute page but like i just could have tried a little harder with it and i would have enjoyed it more but it was just like june and because i did two pages of pay of uh, paint together i knew that once i cl closed them they would stick together but i didn't care because i was like i don't really like this page so i was like mm. and now i just keep this in between here i don't really know why because i don't care that much to Keep them separate there are times in the year obviously where i don't really know what to do and i don't really have an inspiration but i do want to journal and i sometimes like to journal through that phase of not knowing what to do so i guess this was maybe one of those times this was a page of things that i wanted to catch up on i was watching a k-drama touch your heart that i really enjoyed um and then this page was about ATZ's illusion i really loved illusion so much it's one of my favorite ATZ songs so oh and also don't need your love by nct dream um was really good so yes next page june favorites did i journal did i do a journal with me for this i don't remember but here it is now so my june favorites i was experimenting with using this like clear plastic this plastic i don't know where you get it so if anybody knows let me know i got it from like the wrappings of like apple products do you know like your computer comes wrapped in this if you get a macbook i don't know i like it because it's foggy enough that it's not like completely see-through but you can also see what's going on behind it's not like tracing paper where it's like not really clear enough i don't know i like this plastic i want more but uh, i enjoyed using it for this july i did a video for this one people got very mad at me <laughs> i'm like just let me live okay so i didn't know what to do for my july title page and i kept putting it off for so long and i wanted to film it um so i feel like that was putting a little bit more pressure on me as well so in the end this just came to me because these stickers come in my limitless nct album so i was like i need to use those stickers so here we go i used deung's face and i used this one because he's wearing an american flag hat and it's fourth of july i'm really going minimal in july apparently psych not minimal at all <laughs> so july 1st was taeyong's birthday and gray street had an event for taeyong Taeyong and hechan's birthday so that's what this page is about that's where these things come from and then the same day we was it the same day Yes, right? Emma, Elena, and Monica and I went to Bryant Park because they were having Bryant Park movie nights and they were playing to all the boys I loved. And I like to look back at this because everybody was wearing like nice summery colors and I was just there in all black. So I love messing with people's aesthetics. <laughs> 
uh next page sometimes i look at this and i'm like why did i do this but then i'm like what else would i have used it for this is a postcard that comes in an astro album but i put the postcard in my journal so all light all night all light all light all night this album <laughs> is a very very aesthetic album so i put the little postcard that came in it in here made a little spread on this page i did some line art of a vase of flowers that i have and i still have the vase of flowers um oh no ah uh, wait is it stuck together oh i think wait what no i don't know did i glue this together did i fail at this page and was like oh let me just stick it together forever and maybe i'll try to tear it apart for fun later i don't remember well, you can kind of see. I did a page, and it was one of those, like, bleh, just put a bunch of stuff on a page, vomit, art kind of things. But maybe I didn't like it. I can't remember. Maybe I blocked it out because I really hated it. Anyways, let's just move on. <laughs> um, another just aesthetic page. Fireflies by NCT Dream. This art, I cannot remember what this is called. I don't remember. But it's, like, so, like two men, like, two men looking at the moon. No. Is that what it's called? I don't remember. This page, you are slowly growing, but you're still growing, and that is enough. Um, I did a journal with me for this page, I think. Did I also do it for this one? Who knows? But I was just being very nice and summery in spring. These next pages, you'll see, this is kind of when I started to do it, when I just started to do like scrappy aesthetic pages. So this was kind of like the aesthetic, and then I also put a little playlist in there, and then I was doing an aesthetic page and then it turned into Taeyong's long flight, even though this does not go with the aesthetic of the music video at all, but I did it anyways. So you kind of see me working through how to do these like layered pages that I like to look at. And here we have the layered look that I was going for. So like you can slowly see my growth into it. So that feeling bro playlist. So these are just like old indie folk songs that I used to really love and that I just started listening to again and I was like oh these are giving me so much nostalgia throwback so I made a little playlist of that this is a quote that says but the thing is even if I could go back I wouldn't belong there anymore which is facts we have so many pages left to go it's crazy I need to go faster next page is another just a little entry this is a little art piece a little bit minimal a little person down there July 23rd another little entry um July 26th, some Polaroids of my dog and my mom, and then a little bit of writing down there. Just made a little nice border and things. This page is We Boom. Music video came out and album. So good. July wrap up. I read some books in July. I was barely reading, and normally in the past, Journal with Me's, I would do wrap ups, but I would do a wrap up page. But this year, I did not read much at all, except in July, I read four books. Wow. This was just random little things that I did in July that I wanted to write down because a lot of things happened in July and then a little entry for July as well. Uh, August title page. Here I was doing very flowery because I was like, it's the last month that I should be summery and flowery like this. So I did some drawings and then I had this picture that I took of a flower. So August, important dates, just things that were going to be happening. August 3rd, I bought my Cherry Bomb NCT 127 album and I got Taehyung's photo card, which is the first album that I ever got his photo card in and it was just very exciting. Rocky got a bath today. If you saw my first ever journal for three, you'll have seen this a page like this similar to this um that i did and i was just like you know what i want to do that again it's fun it's a memory here it is this page i was going to be journaling in a separate journal like a traveling journal but then i didn't really succeed at that so it's fine this page was august 24th i went and bought three albums <laughs> i'm crazy i know but i want to bet with my mom and so she had to buy me four k-pop albums so here's that commemorating that and then i was gonna put something else here but i never went and printed it out the next page is some art i wanted it to look a little bit cartoony kind of vibes um nothing too serious and then just a little kind of entry one team i did a page about one team because it's a group that i stand and i just bought the album the 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 just previously <laughs> um and so i wanted to use the stickers so made a little page about them i did film it but i never uploaded it because it was the shortest video ever so yeah that's out there you can finally see the page 
this page whoa who am i this aesthetic is so not me but i have a bunch of things like this because i think it's just so cute but not things that i would normally use but i had a bunch of them like these washi tapes i bought and these stickers i bought and so i was like let me just do a very bright page um of stuff and this was the book that i needed for class that i wrote on this piece of paper and i was like let me just journal it this is really when i was getting into doing pages that didn't really have like anything like a playlist or like an entry or something on them i was just doing it for pure aesthetics so this one was the lyrics to yesterday this page is a random playlist of nct songs this page i did a journal with me so if you want to watch that go check it out hotel de luna i loved that drama so so much and this is when i finished it so i did a page about it or i think i did the page right before i finished it and then in here i wrote a little how i feel about the show you can watch the journal with me next page is what a life by xosc chanyol is my exo bias and so the album came out and i wanted to use a sticker but i didn't really end up doing much with the page because i didn't really know what to do because these colors were really stumping me because i don't work with these colors very often uh the next side was when i bought beck and city lights album and just some stuff you know stuff is going on this page i forgot what i was going to do on this page and it's too late now because it's already the next month i think i left this page blank and i was going to come back and do it so in the end i just put this beautiful sticker rengen on there it's okay to not make every page in your journal look aesthetic um august let's not talk about this one but look at that very nice sticker stuff going on here we're moving on <laughs> September title page. I really like this one. I feel like this looks very September to me. I really like how it came out. This one is I love you more than yesterday, but less than I'll love you tomorrow. I take this quote kind of being like to myself, you know, I love you more than yesterday. Like myself, I love more than yesterday, but less than I'll love you tomorrow. You know, just self-love guys. That's what I'm trying to get at here. September 5th was Pentagon concert. I bought an ATs album that day. Em and I went to the Pentagon concert, which was so good. It was such a quality concert. Like it was so enjoyable and like well put together. Down here, these pictures are all the airdrops. If you've ever been to a K-pop concert, all they do is airdrop you random pictures before the concert begins. Like people airdrop other people. So that's fun. These are all the quality ones I got. This is a still from Superhuman that I just did a little abstract painting of Mark another page of mark lee <laughs> um again with the layering i'm really proud of this page i really like it this is a polaroid that didn't focus at all and kind of failed but i was like i should not throw it away and i figured i could use it somewhere in here and i like how it turned out this page is just some doodles I had the vision and i created it i don't know what what these words are from anymore but i don't know you get the point layering day 19 of september so day 19 of september a little journal entry again a little playlist songs that i was listening to again this really makes me feel like summer song more layering well so these are the like lyric sheet from my van which is one of my favorite songs of the album i really love the songs in this album i was back in school again semester had started and i was having a bit of a hard time so i was talking about that in there some more layering i was really having some fun with it got some glitters in there the times that I've been talking about glitters, I don't know if you've been able to see them because they're like iridescent. So there's a bunch all over this page. Bought some more albums because I was really struggling in school and I was just like, I need an album. It makes me feel better. And it does. No regrets. So this page. So some more doodles, some more layering, a little Polaroid of a nice donut that I had and some coffee and I wrote this quote down again that I had uh, previously but I just wanted to do it again and remind myself of it you're slowly growing but you're still growing and that's enough uh, my September favorites page I filmed this but I never uploaded it so sorry about that October I really liked how this turned out I had the vision I for a long time I didn't know what to do I filmed this by the way so if you want to watch it but I did not know what to do because I was like, oh, it's my time to shine. It's October, my aesthetic. Finally, it won't seem out of place, kind of. But at the same time, I wanted to keep in mind, um, like, the witch aesthetic and appropriating that because there are people. And I know that not all witches are affected by that, but some are. So it took me a long time to come up with this. Finally, I did it. And I really like how it turned out with the glitters and everything. The orange and the purples. And I love it. And it's, oh, it's an aesthetic that I love. Ooh, I really like this page. I haven't seen this page since I did it, but... I really like how this one turned out. Very kind of spooky vibes. Some more layering using uh, my regular album cutouts. 
this page I filmed, these two I filmed, and I like could not figure out what to do for voiceover to upload it, so that one never got uploaded, I'm sorry, but this is just some crumpled paper, and I did this little like astrology chart was what I originally wanted to do for this, but it wasn't turning out right because I was trying to do everything too exact, and so I came up with this page, and it worked out a lot better. This page is just a bunch of, because I was doing analog photography and printing out all my own pictures, here are some of the scraps that I kept from it to journal with. October uh, 18th, another kind of journal entry. This, again, I filmed this, but I didn't upload this because I filmed it in a different style and I didn't know if I really liked it. So yeah, never saw the light of day, sorry. But this page is some current good songs playlists, just some songs that I was listening to. Halloween, a nice little Halloween page. I got this as a freebie um, and I was like, damn, that's a big, sticker of bt21 for to be free so i just did a little halloween page because i was like when else would i use it so i just put it in here a little bit of a brighter halloweeny vibe as well as with this page but it looks cute i like it this page em and i we did a photo booth uh at urban outfitters so i had these extra pictures that i put in here this page a halloweeny page uh i had this was also a vision that i had to do for the october title page but i didn't want to like draw statue head it was just too hard i tried but then later on in the month i got this little brochure in the mail so i cut up the brochure and put it in here and i could achieve my dreams and i just drew this skull beside it this page i don't i had i didn't know what i was going to do with it um so i just did the brown paper and the stickers because they're big stickers so i was like oh i can finally put them in my journal i don't i didn't know what to put here so eventually like months later i just wrote boo november title page a little bit minimal but still keeping with the darker colors which i really like these are again pictures from the irregular nct 127 album so i put them in here this is win win's hand i think and then hechan's lips in a mirror which is just aesthetic and then again from the brochure that i got this from put it in there sorry the light is going i should have filmed this earlier in the day but i just didn't so well, some more layering i think this was, this was the first time that em and i went to niko neko zakaya which is our favorite stationery store in new york city in east village so here's a nice little page about it so yeah just some lovely layering i really liked messing with this layering and i was starting to try and figure out how to use stickers in it because i buy a lot of stickers but i don't do much with it so here i was really trying to figure things out and washi tape because again if you notice i don't use that much washi tape in this but i was trying to get better at it because i love buying washi tape as well these program albums come with a little poster folded up so i did a page with that the korean version comes with a little booklet so i cut that one up and put it in here because I bought all of the Super M albums because I am trash. I'm sorry. Some more layering. This one is a little bit brighter and then I wanted to do like a darker one. More layering. I really like how this came out. This, I was trying to be like the May favorites page that I really loved a while back. Layering, layering. Did I do a video for this one? I feel like maybe yes. I don't know. November 24th. November 24th. Um, I did this page. Some more layering. A lot of stuff. November... 2019 playlist just some songs that i was listening to wait this is not november november which is november and december so a playlist for the two months together went to super m concert at this point i was running out of pages in my journal and so i was very afraid so i added this page in this is not like a page in the journal so super m concert some of my pictures that i got of markley over here nice big picture I like to keep my memories like i said this oh no i missed a page <laughs> i got so many great photos of lucas like, looking at my camera <laughs> and then i also caught his ball so you know wow and then Young's song gta grand theft artist i did a whole page about it because so good this is not my picture but it's beautiful obsession exo obsession album came out and it was a great time and i love it so so much so here is that page suho was really coming for me in this album like oh chanyo like i said is my bias and kai is my bias wrecker so suho please stop coming for me the next page is kind of a blue look this is jaehyun's try again a still from that this is a little sticker of milk because jeffrey just wants some milk november recap just things that happened in november because a lot of things happened so i just wrote little things out to like jog the memory you know what i'm saying december this uh like i said before this is the only page i didn't do a whole spread for but i didn't really know what to do 
Like I have this paper, it's actually a shopping bag. I kept it and I was like, this would be perfect for Christmas. And finally I got to using it, but then I didn't really know what to do on it. But I bought these stickers from Flying Tiger, this, like all these jewels. So I just ended up making something like this. December 1st, my friend Emma and I went back to the stationer store we love and I did a little page with the stuff that I bought. This page is a little Christmassy page. Union Square Holiday Market. I went so many times and I picked up one of their little like newspaper things they have about it. So I cut that up and put some of the things in there. December 16th, a Monday. I did a little entry, a little playlist. Uh, this page is a little page about Johnny as little photo cards. So I stuck it in here and just did some a cup of coffee, some coffee bits. Some more layering. I really enjoy doing pages like this where I don't have to like care too much about oh I need to write something on there because I'm not the biggest fan of writing. I don't do well with words so that's this page. Another page with not a lot of writing. Down here is the lyrics from Love Talk, the English version. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Again, with the light aesthetic, I just wanted to have some fun with it because like I said, I gather a lot of light colored things that I'm like, this is so cute, but I don't use it because it's just not my aesthetic. So I was like, let me just do a page and did all of these because I got this picture of Wu Young uh, as a freebie for his birthday event thing. My sister bought me a Polaroid printer for Christmas. Ta-da! Voila, there it is. I love it because I can print pictures like this. These are all of the scraps that uh, I just collected for Christmas. You know, I like this, very fun. The next page, this, I just stuck this picture in here and I didn't really know what to do. And so at the end of the year, I just came in and added this. I cut my little desk calendar and put it in here. This is a little thank you, you know, to NCT. I just wanted to do another page about NCT because you know, who am I if not an N citizen? This page was another page I didn't know what to do, but I just put black paper down and then drew in some pencil. And so it's kind of like, like you see it, but you can't see it, you know? Next page. This page I really didn't know what to do with, so I just stuck a picture of Taeyong in here. This one, a lot of layering going on. I was just having some fun with it. This page I never finished. Ugh. Not, so it's not finished, but this is what I had going on. It was trying to like just match the aesthetic of this side, but you know, I kind of struggle with light aesthetic sometimes, so I was struggling here. But in here, I did like a little message in a bottle type of thing, and these are like my end of the year pages start here, but this one is like just all like random memories that I had throughout the year. So I like go through my Snapchat memories or my camera roll and just write down things that happened. Um, so my first memory I have here was bought my first NCT album. I bought my first album on January 6th and it took me just one year to complete my whole collection. I own every NCT album. Who am I? Please save me from myself. But the back of this is some white tissue paper and I just drew on it with some gold pen. I forgot to cover this page, so I'm just gonna have to use my hand. But here's a letter to 2019. I always do kind of that, be like, you suck 2018, hopefully 2019 is better. And so for 2019, I was like, oh, you didn't suck too bad. Hm. So that's what this page is. And then I did a little page for end of the decade. I had a lot of fun with this page. I really like how it turned out. So, and then here is the end. This is it. Goodbye, you thick ass bitch. This is just a goodbye. And here's a picture of myself. <laughs> this is a picture that I um, did for my analog photography class. And so I had it and I was like, might as well just put it in here so that my journal knows what I look like. I don't know. And this is who made this journal. And that's it. That is the end. We have finally made it. This is probably the longest video in the freaking entire universe. Whew. Here we go. Here it is. Here's my journal. I hope you guys enjoyed this flip through. If you have any questions, I will try to have answers down below. In the description box, please check my description box to see if there are any answers. And if you made it through the whole video, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you for supporting me this past year. So, yep, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next year. Goodbye.